Cool. All right. Spy party. This dude has way more wins than I do. He's actually a vine saucer too. Or maybe he... I told him about vine sauce through spy party. And I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. Is my controller not working here? <laughs> to stream snipe to balance out our skills. Uh, sure. <laughs> so I'll explain Spy Party real quick. Two minutes explaining to the viewers what the fuck this game is. So Spy Party is a one versus one psychological competitive game where one person is a sniper outside the party just peering in looking at this cocktail party full of people and the spy is one person at that party everyone else is ai controlled so it's the spy's job to um complete some missions without being detected by the sniper it's the sniper's job to shoot that spy dead but the sniper only has one bullet to do it so if they shoot the wrong person they lose so you need to be absolutely sure that the person they're shooting is the spy uh it, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool all right what level you want want to do probably do ballroom which they finally put in the game they just added five more characters and we finally have a full cast more or less new ballroom yeah um, let's see, let's do any, any, any four, no, back, no, ah, I didn't want to go that back that far, I didn't realize it was going to load, we'll do any four of six, could start with old, yeah, it's a good point, good point. We're going to do the old ballroom just so you can see where the game came from. So, here's what the game originally looked like during beta. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And then uh, they've been slowly adding in new characters and new art and shit. Uh, we'll do like one match with the old art. Uh, we'll do any four of six. We'll turn off. Let's see. If I'm going to turn off anything. Turn off fingerprint. And inspect. Well, no, inspect is, uh, I don't know what I want to turn off. Let's turn off seduce. So I'm going to be this gentleman right here in the bow tie. Ambassador is this guy over here who I'm going to bug. Uh, that's one of the missions is to plant a little bug on the ambassador. It looks like a little butt tap. And I'll explain missions as I go along. Let's see, it's my... I don't know why my controller's not working right now. I usually do better as spy if I have a controller. So I'm going to take control of the spy. And we will purloin the guest list here. Hopefully he won't notice. So I just stole that little guest list. You see it disappear there. I, I think he noticed. He might have... And here's a good chance to plant that bug. Oh, it was a good chance. However, we're just going to talk. Oh, he got me. <laughs> he must have saw it disappear. So, purloin. I shouldn't have rushed purloin. It was too obvious. Let's see if you saw that. Where was that purloin? Guess list purloined. So this is what his camera looked like. He did not know who I was, but he was able to zoom in and see that the list is missing from the tray. Oh, he got a good angle on it, too. And then he saw me drink from it. So that was that. That's like a super short game. Usually it's a lot <laughs> more involved than that. Mm hmm And um, start game. Now I'll be the sniper. 
So I'm going to be looking for a few things. Uh, I have a lot of experience in this, so it's hard to keep up my thought process, but I'll be looking at the statues to see if they change shape, because if they change shape, it means the spy was there and swapped one of the statues as one of the missions. I'll be watching the bookshelves for them to take microfilm out of the book, which is an animation that only the spy can do. So if I see that animation, I know I can shoot that person. Um, I'll be looking for ambassador bugs, which look like a butt tap. Uh, if the code word is said, which is banana bread, then I see who's in conversation with the double agent at that time. And whoever's talking is likely to be a spy. 331123. 3-3-1-1-2-3. do not think that was a spy, although he could have been a spy deliberately not bugging in order to... Um, throw off suspicion. Let's see, is the guest list still there? I can't tell. I can never tell on this map. It's so hard to see. It is still there. And he just took one. So you can highlight and lowlight people who you feel are either more or less suspicious. Like her, I'm, she's pretty suspicious right now for some reason. Um, middle statues are always suspicious because they can and finish their entire inspect mission in one go, so it's a higher value target. Oh, she didn't even take the middle; she took the side. No one's been doing microfilm banana today. Oh, banana bread. So anyone not in conversation? He just left. In fact, he looked like he was bolting from a conversation, so it's actually pretty likely him. I don't think she was in at the time, so I'm going to do that. He also went straight from bolting from a conversation with a suspected double agent straight to the statues. So he's my biggest suspect right now. Let's see if he swaps this thing. And that would be double inspect. I'm quite certain it's him. So let's shoot him. Yep. Like I said, I thought he was suspicious because right after the banana bread, it looked like he was anxious to get out of that conversation. <laughs> banana bread is a code word. Uh, if the spy says banana, banana bread, bread while in conversation with the double agent like here, they complete that mission. Like he just completed contact double agent. Then you could see he kind of panicked. He actually did a 360, which probably is what drew my attention, even though I didn't notice it. The panicked um, BB believe. So yeah, there there are subtle tells that aren't as immediately obvious to newer players. Uh, let's do spy again. Now we're gonna show you how far the game has come. We're gonna do the same exact level, same exact missions, but now with the new art. Now that the game is moving out of design and moving into art, it, moving into art. And we're going to be, there's actually a pair of twins too, which is pretty devious. One of them wears jewelry though, and the other one doesn't. That's how you tell the difference. We're going to be Mr. Texan over here. All right, and here's the new art. <laughs> Looks a lot different, right? You still see there's the old waiter he's in. Oh my God. Um, okay, that's fine. I mean, uh, the bookshelves are not part of the mission list right now, but that's okay because me spending time at the bookshelf actually makes me less suspicious. Damn it. Missed that bug, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll just continue to do things that the spy would not be doing, such as reading this book, right? No spy here. No spy here. And we're going to put this book back. As long as we carry it around, the harder it will be. Sometimes we need that hand to do things like bug this motherfucker over here. It would be too obvious if I were to bug him now. It's in plain sight. I lingered at that bookshelf really long. However, let's get in conversation here with this double agent. And we'll wait for conversations to pile up a bit. Ah, that kind of sucks. I hope the double agent... Banana bread. Okay. 
He probably got a few low lights. He can low light anyone who's not in conversation when the banana bread happens, which is kind of a bitch, but what are you going to do? We'll refuse. Here's our chance to get a bug. Oh, he saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Actually, it wasn't high lit, though, so that's a good thing. I evaded suspicion up until the bug. Let's see. Yeah, you, you can even see my arm sticking through, right? There, you see my left arm stick out like that? See it in the replay. <laughs> it is a pretty big learning curve, yeah. It, but it's still really fun, even on a newbie level. Like, on a newbie level, you're mostly just learning the basics, like... Um, like being aware of the laser and when is the best time to do certain missions. And as a sniper, you're learning the hard tells, such as the animations that only spies will do, like bugging and stuff. Um, then as you get better, you start to learn more subtle things like pathing or soft tells. Like, uh, like for example, there's it's not a tell when someone is going to statues more than once, but it makes them more suspicious because they might be going back to inspect them. Uh, the, the mission that's inspect three statues up in the upper left here, you just need to look at the statues. There's nothing that will give totally give you away, but it can help corroborate other evidence. I gotta play Chubbs next time. Who's Chubbs? There's a couple chubby characters. Is the game balanced? I think it's very balanced, yeah. Um, it's It leans more heavily towards sniper side. I feel Sniper tends to win more, and most of the big players have more Sniper wins than Spy wins. Just because all information flows towards the Sniper. The Sniper knows exactly where he's looking, and he's only gaining all the information from everywhere else in the party. The Spy cannot tell where the Sniper is looking. One, two, three. Let's see, he was really close to the Ambassador to start. Or not him. Ah, there we go. And he kind of shoved himself in conversation there. One, three, one. You can also add time, because the thing is, the time only has three minutes to complete all their missions, which is what basically forces the spy to rush. Double agents can never be spies. Can't see if there's... I think there's still a tray. Um, transfer microfilm. Let's pretend he's not going to waste time on microfilm. I'm pretty sure he won't. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see a statue in the left corner. I'll have to remember that for swappage. Again, I don't think he's going to waste time at the bookshelves. This, at least this rat, this match. At the end, he's going to see that I highlight. Ooh. Did he swap it? He went to the statue immediately to the side, and now she's in the way. And I gotta see the statue. He did. Pretty sure. Oh no, he didn't swap it. Did I just memorize? I think I mismemorized. I must have mismemorized. Well. Oh no, he did get a green swap. So, green swap is interesting. Um, basically, let's see where this was. How far back did he swap this fucking thing? Okay, so he got a green test, which means that rather than him swapping the model, it's going to be the next person to pick it up to swap the model of the statue. There's a little Gears of War style action test whenever a spy does something spy-like. And if they get an absolute perfect on that, it's called a green test. It makes it so that there's an extra benefit. In this case, it makes the next person swap it instead of him. It was like almost an entire minute. That's what threw me off. There are other maps. Yeah, there's a bunch of maps. 
If you're agency one, you get the spy. Why would they only they only give you one bullet? Because you're an expert, and you need to not have any collateral damage or like kill a bunch of people. They give you one bullet. They expect you to do it quick and clean, and that's it. Yeah, it feels claustrophobic. Do you think Checker should bring it back down to 13 people? Feels claustrophobic to me. We'll do this same map a few more times. Um, let's switch. Take out that and fingerprint. Who's Chubbs? This guy? He's the, oh, you mean this guy? Philip Seymour Hoff, Hoffman, or whatever his name is. Yeah. And I wish I'd get my controller working. I don't know why it isn't. Speed at which the sniper turns that corner. Um, I wanted to check my controller real quick. It says it's Xbox, so it should work. Should work fine. Hmm. No, I don't know why my controller's not working. Hmm. Oh well. Here's a good, decent chance to bug, maybe. Decent. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't stick. Ah. Come on. Where's the bug? God damn it. I didn't even get the option that time. Really weird. Um, let's see. We could start seducing. I want to bail in the middle of conversation because Wodar can totally notice that. Also, you notice he keeps his laser on the pillar, so it's harder to track. Like if he's not looking at anything in particular. Okay, seducing is another soft. Um, it's another soft, uh, soft tell. Basically, there's nothing to determine whether or not someone's being seduced other than proximity. Like if someone, they've seen Buddy Buddy, it could help back up some other other things. Okay, so it's really busy in the back corner. Why am I not, oh, did I turn off? I turned off bug, that's why. Huh. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna carry the book around for a while, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna put it away. We can also get our microfilm from here. Yeah, he's watching something else. He didn't think I would do my microfilm here. However, we're gonna need more time. Really, not in the pad. Not in the pad. Come on. Oh. Check your watch, lady. I'm gonna check my watch at the same time as her. Damn it. Okay, I added time. Gives me a little bit more time, but god damn, I wish I could have landed on that fucking pad. That was terrible. All right, we can finish our seduce here. Maybe. Uh, finish our. Damn it. Fucked up. Did not fuck up. He didn't notice. We'll get our seduce. Oh, I sat next to the wrong guy. I still need one more seduce. We can add time again. 
before it was less than 30 seconds. Good. Get our last seduce. Does he not suspect me? Because I don't think he suspects me, actually. All right, um, what's left? Purloin, swap, or contact double agent. Come in my conversation, double agent, please. Thank you. Signal double agent, done. Got a green test so there's no talking animation. Oh, and then someone else is gonna do the purloin. I just gotta stay in conversation. As long as I stay in conversation, chances are. Yes! Ugh, oh, that was so tense. I had to add time twice in order to get it done. I was low lit. See, that was my suspicion is that at some point he low lit because I did a whole bunch of suspicious things. I got low lit. Why did I get low lit here? But I did so many sus uh, suspicious things, and he never shot me. So I started to think that I could get away with a lot more, like as if I was low lit. I wonder why. I actually got low lit at the bookshelf, strangely enough. Maybe he thought that um, transfer microphone wasn't a mission. Apparently he liked the way I walked. <laughs> nice. Got away with it. It's so tense. And I'm, I'm sorry if it's hard to follow. I try to explain things as I'm going along, but I know I'm using a lot of phrases that, like, that I need to explain. So feel free to ask any questions, and I will be glad to explain. It looked like really looked it looked really AI like and though and through that and though that you would try to walk uh, I could not read that. Walk around the outside of conversation circles like most spies. Oh he thought I would try to walk. So apparently what I did back there, right before watch how the way I walk through the conversation. I'm gonna leave here and go back to the bookshelf. And he's gonna like the way I did it. Apparently, it's very <laughs> AI like, so he low lit me. And that's the thing, only high level snipers will ever low light someone for acting specifically like an AI. Yeah, I kind of snaked my way through really carefully. Most spies would bump against players by accident, so that makes it. Um, the fact that I was able to snake through was very precise. And yeah. Uh, I think it's 15 bucks. All right, we'll start game. Few more on ballroom, then switch. Because I'm sure you guys want to see some other levels too. All right, so he got rid of microfilm and seduce. And he must have saw that I was low lighting microfilm guys, so now that's no longer safe tactic. He, if he's learning his opponent, which he should try to do, then he will actually go to a shelf on purpose in order, because he knows that I low light people who do that. Also, I've not been watching. I had not memorized the statue, so I'm going to need to be really careful. He could be inspecting. In fact, since I wasn't watching it, um, I'm just going to highlight anyone who's at statues. 311. She might have bugged there. 311 and 223. Two, I use numbers to memorize statues, so that way if it gets swapped later, I'll know about it. Mm. And then he went to the other statue. What? I don't remember what it was I suspected of him, but I suspected something about him. Let's try to bait him. Let's pretend like I can't see those statues. And I'm going to do that on purpose to try to get bait him into swapping him. Okay, he did not, but it could have been green, so I gotta be careful. I'll watch the next person who goes there. We'll see if someone gets called there quickly. Not a lot going on in the party, which means there's likely to be a, be a banana bread. She could also be a spy. 
She has not been doing anything. Uh, I haven't noticed him do anything. The twins have not been too active. Ooh, that was interesting. He walked up to it and then the left. There's that banana bread. Oh, it's a really good banana bread, too, because there isn't anyone out of conversation. Ugh, oh, he rushed it. He must have swapped at the beginning or something. It was him, too. I was just saying that, too, how, um, how I saw him talking at the end. Double agent, bug, inspect, and... S oh, he did do a swap. And he did it right at the beginning, which is unfortunate. I didn't memorize because I usually try to. He got it in that small window. It's usually good to rush a mission right at the beginning because in the the beginning of the mission is always a big scramble as everyone kind of finds their spot in the party. And usually in that scramble, you can either rush a bug or rush a statue swap. Nice job. And not to mention he just performed quick in general, so it made it a lot harder to track. Yeah, he did a bug. Which I was zoomed in when he did the bug. Wait, no, not yet. Hang on. Let's watch for this. Oh, I saw it plain as day, and I just didn't notice it. Look, watch his arm. Watch his arm. You see that? <sighs> I could have caught that. It was plain as day. I could have seen that, and that would have been game over. It was posted by Hobo, too, really. Fuck. Dang. Dang. I feel any four or six is pretty good. Uh, let's take out swap and seduce. I think I might start with fingerprint ambassador. Which uh, basically, I got to do things that the ambassador are doing. So if, if the ambassador was just at the bookshelves, I can lift their fingerprint off of their book. Stuff like that. Yeah, Renkage in chat is explaining it. Yeah. I didn't miss that message. Uh, at the window. I don't think he's watching the clock, so... We'll rush a little time ad, gives us some extra time. And let's go, let's talk here. Did I not talk? Green purloin, which means we want to be out of, away from him. Oh god. Not close enough. Add time again. Oh, he saw it. He had to have seen it. Oh my god, I'm landing in all these empty conversations. Uh, and then I just went from a really small distance to another conversation, which isn't explicitly bad. The AI will do it sometimes, but the, end of bread. the thing is, humans have a distance. Um, we'll get a drink, because we got plenty of time. We're doing really well. Humans do have a distance preference, and AIs don't. So humans tend to go short distances, whereas AIs will not necessarily go any distance. They'll go long distances, they'll go short distances, but humans will always feel safer going short distances. Let's see where, let's see, transfer, inspect, bug, fingerprint. Where's that ambassador even? 
Ambassador was just at the shelf. So let's go there and get that fingerprint. We'll gulp just to finish our drink because we can't grab a book if we're not doing that. And maybe we can get the fingerprint, although the she still has a book. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, no, the red test. Did you not notice? You didn't notice. Yeah, you noticed. <laughs> the red test happens when you fail the... Um, fail the little mini game thing. So watch my character. It's it's so obvious. Oh, he had me low lit too again. Pfft. He's all like, "Oh, it wasn't me." Yeah, red test happens when you fail the little mini game, and it's like it usually causes some really conspicuous thing. Like if you're trying to say banana bread, it instead causes you to like cough. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, let me unban. Links are currently not allowed due to spam bots. Yeah, we were doing pretty well too. We were even low lit again. At some point. Oh, it was just after. Interestingly, it was just after the double agent contact, so maybe he thought I wasn't in conversation. Yeah, look at all the low lights he got from, um, where is it? Actually, he didn't get a lot. He was just marking books. Sniper. Yeah, when you, um, when someone picks up, uh, sure. When someone picks up a book, the, the sniper can decide to mark that book a color so that they can keep track of what shelf it came from. However, they do need to manually mark it. Like, they need to choose between red and blue and green just so that it's not automatic. That way, if they see someone with a book in the middle of the mission, they didn't realize they didn't see which shelf they got the book from. They need to kind of guess if they want to keep up for it. Anything with new art. Sure. Pub level. This one's got a weird mission involving taking Toby's, um, or the bartender's list. Yeah, I was going to do TTT again sometime soon. Maybe tomorrow. Any four or five. All right, so he's not going to swap statue and he's not going to fingerprint. Uh, this game, I think, is $15. So I don't need to memorize statues. I do need to watch the ambassador since that's a high target. Oh, that's not an ambassador. Oh, shit. That's the ambassador over there. Just want a clear view of her to make sure she doesn't do her thing. Perloin is in there, so I got to watch the list closely, too. Okay, she did not take it. I don't think it's her. I think he would have done it there. Well, then again, maybe not. Maybe he's doing that to relieve suspicion. He might have... Ooh, and then he left. Oh, because she took it. Not sold. Toby's list is still there. You can... oh. All these people inside. Let's see, it could be any of these. Unlikely to be these, because there's no... And then he was the first to leave. I think he's going there to be less suspicious. This guy on the right. She might have just tried to bug. 
bug followed by statue to seem less suspicious because statue is not a mission right now. Oh, well then again, inspect is a mission. So they do need to visit statues at some point. That would be the inspect. You had a chance to bug. I'm not cons convinced yet though. She has been doing anything. She hasn't been doing much. There might have been a time at at some point. She's checking her watch. No time ad. He has not been doing anything. He was in conversation for like most of this mission. He has been pretty... L she just hugged that ambassador pretty tightly. Trying to go for bug maybe. I'm pretty sure it's red dress. It's either red dress or turban at this point. Does Toby still have his thing? Fuck, I can't see him. He does not, so it has to be someone who is at the bar at some point. He hasn't been doing anything. He's been pretty active, too. He's been very unactive. Could be the general. Could also be that guy, technically. She's been the most busy. Her. Time ad? No time ad. He's going to another window. Oh my god, what is she doing? I'm quite certain it's her at this point. But I don't feel the missions are complete yet. Ten seconds. If overtime kicks in, I'm shooting her. Overtime means the spy completed the missions and there's a ten second victory timer. Oof. Oh no! Ah. Uh, he did it with 11 seconds left, so the mission, the victory timer is exactly 10 seconds, so if you complete your last mission with less than 10 seconds left, the overlapping time is called overtime, uh, which means the spies already won and the sniper should immediately shoot someone because they don't know how much time is really left. Uh, uh, at some point, when did I low light? At some point I low lit. Although I'm not sure why. Delegated Perloin. He had the next person pick it up. Why did I... Oh, I, I think it was just due to inaction because he wasn't doing much. How long was he? He was in that conversation for a good minute or so, which I think is why I low lit. That explains it. Yeah, he got me. He got me pretty good. I had low lit her for inactivity, which ex also explains why he completed his mission so late. Because he was really waiting, which it, it, it earned him a low light, and he was able to get his missions done as a result. So, cool as ice. Nice game. That was very good. Uh, mirror. Mm -mm -mm. Take out the same things he took out. What was the other one? Fingerprint. Uh, we're going to be wheelchair, bro. Yeah, Wodar is very good. And you can see how many more wins he has than me. He's up to 1,500 and 1,800. I'm only at 500 and 600. So he just, he just has a lot more experience. He's going to win almost every match. Damn, I was really hoping for the bug, but at least I'll get a quick flirt here. And since I'm so close, it, it'll count for a lot. You can see my flirtation meter on the upper left. Um, if you get a green test, you get a bigger chunk of that completion. And the closer you are, the more effective it is. Where's that ambassador going? I'm going to go get that bug while he's at the, the counter. Do 
you see it? I don't think he saw it. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> and hopefully he won't pair me and my seduction target up here, which he might. Uh, so that's halfway done. Two minutes, 30 seconds. We're doing pretty well. And you can see there's a cooldown timer with the seduce. Uh, the far further away you are, the faster that cooldown timer goes. So it's better to leave and come back. I don't know why I did that. I was hoping someone else in the other conversation in the end of bread. gets highlight for this. Because I did a fake banana bread right there. So he knows the double agent's in the other conversation circle, so hopefully I'm less suspicious as a result. It wasn't actually a real one. Where's my seduction target? She's over there. I'm going to go seduce her. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but we'll take it. Oh, no! Then she moved away! Oh, God damn it. I added time by accident the first time because I thought it'd be flirt by default, and it wasn't. Then, when I actually went to flirt, she moved away, and so it switched back to add time. So I just added a fuckload of time. <laughs> okay, let's go seduce her for real now. Flirt. Please, complete it. Ah, uh, 99%. It's terrible. I'm next, Toby. Give me my drink. Give me my fucking drink. We'll delegate. And he's probably going to pair us up here. Oh, she did it again. She did it again. That He's going to pair us up if I keep following her around like this, but I want to complete this goddamn mission. It's driving me crazy. Okay, I only need 1%, so let's go opposite. He's going to expect, if I'm seducing her, he's going to expect me to go right up next to her. But since she's opposite of me, that makes me less suspicious. Okay, now if I could just inspect the statue, oh, uh, or contact double agent. It's probably what I'm going to end up doing, is the contact. We have a minute and a half. We just got a banana bread with the, the DA. I wish she would come to me, but she's not gonna, so I'm just gonna leave and head on over there. Oh, everyone's bailing, which I don't like. Wait for someone else to talk. It's her. Banana bread. Got my banana bread without talking. That's probably it. Three, two, one, zero did it. Oh, more than one fake banana bread seems inappropriate somehow. It's It could be part of the mind games. I did a banana bread early and I'm thinking, ooh, he did have me highlight. When I did the fake one, he did get a bunch of low lights. That's the thing. You can do a fake one early to try to throw him off uh, because if you're not near the actual uh, double agent, then he will suspect the people who are with the double agent. So you can do that to throw him off. However, if you do that, it gives him information because whoever's not in a uh, conversation is immediately not a spy. Apparently I had a nice bug. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, the bug, bug, bug. Apparently this bug was nice. So here I am. There's the bug. Yeah, you totally couldn't even see it. So that was a good bug. Or at least from his point of view, we couldn't see it. Here's what it actually looked like. If I was going to look right at it. Um, interactive sniper camera. He here's what it looked like. Yeah, you see my left hand just jut out for a second. It was pretty subtle. That's blocked by bodies. Yeah, I guess so.
Yeah, using bodies is really important too. Like it's important to as a spy to read the party. Like if the if there's a lot of people around a high objective area, like statues or bookshelf, that's kind of your chance to do it. If you go out and do it way out in the open, then there's a much higher chance that they're going to see you. When are we planning on doing it? Pretty like any day now. Cardboard box hobo. Pretty much any day. All right, so no swap. Oh, so he's not doing any statues, which almost seems deliberate to me. He might go to a statue anyway to throw off suspicion. But I'm going to be watching for people who is following the ambassador, watching for people to bug the ambassador, looking for someone to steal Toby's list, and then um, contact double agent and seduce target. No, I bet you anything he's going to bug the ambassador at some point, so I'm going to keep a really close eye on her. Also, the list, I believe, is gone now. Already? The list is gone already. Who has a drink? She has a drink. These two. They're probably just waiting, though. It's probably someone who left, which would make it her and her drink's gone now although it could have just been her drink from the beginning of the game but she's a really high suspect list is gone already which means he definitely rushed it uh so as someone who had a drink or still has a drink and she had one he might have just gulped it to get rid of it as quickly as he can a gulp basically drinks take three sips to get rid of however the spy is the option to gulp it which only takes one sip since it's only one sip um ooh, he's got a drink too uh, if you see someone finish their drink with a single sip, then that has to be the spy. It's an option to totally get rid of your drink, but it's high risk. Because only the spy can do it. See, now there's no one inside. He could be finger getting the fingerprints. Where's my girl? She's still... See, he's standing still, and he's already learned that I tend to low light for people standing in conversation a long time. So if he's still rolling with that... He might deliberately be sitting there knowing that he's under a lot of pressure. So right now, she's actually extra suspicious. Real experiences are even better, Candy the Kitty. Let's see. She might banana bread soon. She's been standing there for a really long time. I almost feel that AI at this point would have left, which isn't necessarily true. In fact, banana bread's almost certainly going to happen because conversations are full up. Uh, if he banana breads now, I'll get no information about who's not a spy. Banana bread. He wasn't quite there yet. He bailed right after. She, she switched a short distance to get in conversation with someone who's a suspected double agent and was standing still for a while. I'm pretty sure it's her. Yep, that was right. See, he was trying to play on the tendency that he learned about. He learned that I low light for people who stand still for a while. So knowing that, he decided to stand still for a while. But I was one level deeper in the mind game there. I knew that he knew that. So I actually considered her more suspicious. Then what really clenched it for me was going straight from this conversation. Like I said, the human the human distance preference to go short distances and not only that but he had a reason to go that short distance because there is a, a double agent in there i was wondering too because the thing is with the conversations full up as long as they were i was uh, uh, expecting him to banana bread earlier but it didn't happen so based on that i guess that this suspected double agent was not the real double agent i guess it was the other one so when he went to the other conversation and then a banana bread happened i knew it had to be her banana bread see it's tricky
My commentary in this game is so good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I worry that I'm not explaining it sufficiently enough. He also did get a time add in there, so I gotta watch for those. Time adding is not out of his his repertoire. It was green, so and from my camera, the time just slows down. He was hoping to throw me off that rush. Almost worked. Almost worked. But not quite. Is there matchmaking? You mean like random matchmaking? The lobby is only like 10 people at a time, so. Uh, let's see. We're gonna turn off. Let's keep swap this time. We'll keep statues. We'll turn off purloin and bug. We'll be that nice little old purple lady. Is it easy to find other players? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's too hard. You can also, um, the more involved you are with the community, the easier it is to find players. But yeah, you can generally join and find someone to play at any point, at least right now. Every once in a while, you'll get unlucky. But uh, anytime I've wanted to sit down and play Spy Party, I've almost always had someone to play with. And you can always ask me. I'll play with you. They call that mentoring, when someone with a ton of experience plays someone with almost no experience. Uh, it's generally etiquette in the spy party community to kind of nurture that player's intelligence and wisdom of the game. And that's how I learned. Yep. Oh, I had a little twitch at the end. A little control dirt, but I doubt he noticed. Let's just start with soft tells. Uh, short distance bias. Got the green and I was close. That was half of what I needed to do. Ooh, this is this is super high risk. I'm gonna make a high risk maneuver and just inch next to this guy. Oh wait, no, bug is not a thing. Never mind. Bug is not a thing. Never mind. That <laughs> was dumb. It was really dumb. Where'd she go? Oh, I can't get in conversation. Yeah, he's gonna shoot me. Maybe he won't notice. Maybe he won't notice. I thought I could squeeze between these two, but apparently I can't. He has to have noticed that. He has to have. Am I low lit? Like, what is going on? <laughs> I just couldn't get in the conversation. I have to be low lit for to get away with that. I wasn't even in the circle, I know. Alright, if we're low lit, well shit, let's go do double agent, we're just gonna rush it. Because I'm guessing I'm low lit for him to have missed that. That or he was really focused on something else. And the end of red. Conversations are full up. Uh, no one's talking here. Let's go do our next seduce. And I can enter anywhere here. Oh, same thing that we had last time. He might have neutral lit me there if I was low lit. But we're just going to do that. And swap statue. Oh, we could also fingerprint. I didn't realize that. But we're going to do the statue inspect and swap. And it's fast enough that I think it's going to throw him off. Okay, I got the green test. We're gonna wait for two cycles because the spy in this situation is only has reason to do one cycle. You always wait a second before you leave because AI always waits a second before they leave. We're gonna come over here, go to the window, and considering time's getting rel relatively low, he's gonna expect a time add, so let's check our watch but not add time. Again, less suspicion. The general back there is going to be swapping my statue for me because I got a green. And we're going to go right in the open here because that seems less suspicious. I didn't try to shove myself in any conversation. I have to be low lit at this point. 
I've done, I fucked up way too much for him to not notice, like right in plain sight. I'm guessing I got low lit early on. All right, here it comes. Oh, I, I was high lit actually. <laughs> well, fuck. Maybe that's the key. I gotta play like I'm low lit more often. Because I'm more ballsy when I do that. Let's see. I gotta find that moment. I gotta show you the CC. I gotta see where I was during that, because that was so stupid. He, look at him! How did he not notice? And then he zoomed in. Uh, 20... Where was that? 254... Okay. 254, I leave conversation. Didn't even land in the pad. <laughs> Can you l bluff and low light people you find suspicious? Um, you could, but the spy cannot see who is highlight and not high. The, the spy cannot see highlights and low lights. Otherwise, that would be too much information. It'd be overpowered. Um, so sometimes the sniper will bluff. Yeah, I mean, in a way. Sometimes the sniper will bluff a highlight, like they'll pretend they're highlighting someone else by just hovering the laser over them for a second to make the spy feel more confident about fucking up. him why didn't he notice me huh he, i mean he was clearly looking at that girl because right after it happened he zoomed in on her watch um so right uh no it was a little bit before that here's the dance he's watching her watch he even zooms in on her right here just to be safe or maybe it was to see the statue more clearly i don't know yeah then he highlight hit lit high lit him after so he's probably watching that okay new map Oh boy, high rise. High rise is fun. There's so many statues on this map. There's like um one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven statues. Seven or eight. High rise was the first new art we know it's the second new art map that was added. Ready? Alright, so no double agent and no microfilm. That's pretty interesting. He's going to be very interested in statues um, uh, and an ambassador because there are two missions apiece for those. I have a feeling he's going to try to rush Purloin because he's been doing that lately. He's going to rush something. He's been rushing something almost every match. So let's watch out for rushers. One, two, three, two, 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 and one, one. Where's Toby? Toby's back there. So we can't rush that. <laughs> two two. Still two two. Where's Toby? Where the fuck is Toby? Where is Toby? Back there with the twins. Denied by the twin. Here comes the green purloin, maybe? If she takes it. No? Wasn't that? One one no, it's ambassador. 
I think I'll keep the ambassador highlight. I was thinking, because he knows I'm not going to be watching the shelf too much. I think when he puts that book... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, when he puts the book back, he might try to bug the ambassador. Uh, that may have been it, the bug, because it would have been with his right arm, and thus I, I wasn't able to see it. He's definitely been very active, the the twin with the clips. 2-2, two, 1-2-3, two, two, statues have not swapped. 1-1 one, one still. Where's Toby? All right, the list is still there. She just took a drink. List is still there. I'm gonna low light her. Just denied by Tuxedo. List is still there, and he took a drink. He's going back to shelf again, huh? I'm less suspicious of him now. I don't see any point for him to go back to the shelf right now. At least over there. She is looking at that. Two cycles, which could mean inspect. No swaps yet. He's been in conversation circle for a long time, so again, he could be fooling me. She could be taking the... The fingerprints off of him, which would explain why she's doing briefcase. I'm becoming more convinced of her now. Checking her watch. Oh, yep, it's her. Prolonged time ad. So what happened there? It's kind of tricky. Um, let's see. Let me replay sniper's camera. So when you add time, one of two things happens. Uh, if the spy needs more time, they can add time. Wait, why did... Wait, what? Why? The time add. He was about to complete his mission, so I don't know why he added time. But um, the spy can check their watch to add time so they get more time to complete their missions. However, they need to check their watch to do that. The sniper can watch the clock. If the spy does a normal time add like a normal test, not a perfect test, then the clock flat out goes up. If the sniper happens to see the clock go up by 45 seconds or just go up at all, then anyone who is checking their watch at that time is a suspect. Uh, however, if you get a perfect test, the, the clock doesn't actually go up. All it does is slow down to make up for it. So I was watching the clock here. He checks his time, or he adds time, I noticed that the clock is slower. Look at the sniper clock. And he could have been the only one. And the funny thing is, I was like, why the time add? You were about to complete your mission. He said, well, I had nothing better to do while waiting for the 10 second timer to end was my logic. <laughs> he was being cocky. He had 1.5 seconds left. If I had shot even, well, a second and a half later, he would have won. He figured, I can squeeze out a time ad. It won't make a difference. It's like, <laughs> because it was there. <laughs> that was good. What I like to do if I'm completing a mission and I happen to be holding a statue, I drop it. Or if I'm about to complete the, the game, if I'm about to win. He went for the disrespect. I punished him. To be fair, I think he did the time ad pretty early. There were seven seconds left when he did the time ad, so it was definitely risky. It gave me plenty of time to look at the clock. But if I was watching anywhere else and not checking for that time ad, he probably would have won. But I already suspected him. All right. Uh, I will do spy on the same level. And he four, six. And we'll get rid of the same things he got rid of. He got rid of microfilm and um, 
forget what it was. Maybe contact double agent. We'll get rid of those two. It's fine. So let's see. I might go all soft this time. I might do fingerprints, seduce, inspect, and bug. It's tricky, but let's try to rush the bug. I don't think he'll catch it. Well, then again, I should never decide this before it throws me into the game. I should see what I have to work with first, but, you know, let's play risky. Actually, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to take control. Let's not. Let's let the AI do its thing, and we're going to bank on him shooting someone else. We're going to bank on his own suspicion. We're going to bank on his trigger, his trigger finger. Because you can do that. This is a totally legitimate strategy. Just never take control. Because the thing is, if the sniper is going to shoot every single time, there's never any reason to take control of the spy. If the sniper shoots 100% of the time, just don't take control. Because the AI will make you blend in, and then eventually you'll shoot the wrong guy. Of course, a really good sniper can kind of gauge mission progress. There's no hard way to tell. Uh, but based on the busyness of the party and the busyness of their suspects, you can usually get a pretty solid idea if, this, if uh, the spy is going to complete their missions or not. Sometimes you can also just tell based on the mission list. Like if, say, let's say that statue, swap statues in the list, um, bug the ambassadors in the list, microfilm is in the list, all these hard missions, and none of them have happened, and no uh, banana bread for that matter, then there's a really high chance that the spy is not taking control, or the spy has not completed their mission for that matter. If the spy just runs out of time and the sniper still hasn't shot anyone, then the sniper does win. So this is a risk. But let's see if it works this time. It'll be fun. The boldacity. Yep. This is also kind of useful because throwing in once the, one of these games every once in a while gives you a chance to just observe the AI, which helps you be a better spy. By the way, thank you for the follows, everyone. I've been getting a lot of follows, and I very much appreciate it. You can kind of get a sense of how long the, spy, the AIs will pause before they leave a specific zone. Because whenever they put books back or put statue back, they always leave. What a lot of spies, uh, sometimes when you do this tactic, it's a good idea to just take control and throw out a banana bread at the end. That way it eliminates the idea of, um, of the spy doing this to begin with. So maybe I'll wait till there are a lot of people in conversation circle, and then I'll throw out banana bread. But let's wait. Let's see if he. Let's see how good he is at resisting his trigger finger. We're just gonna wait all the way through, and he better not be listening to the to the damn stream. I don't think he would, but you never know. Up oh, 30 seconds left. He still hasn't shot anyone. Maybe he knows that I couldn't have possibly been busy enough to complete these missions. There's been no swap. There's been no purloin. And well, double agent, no. There'd be pointless to do double agent because it's not even a mission. So we're just gonna wait. Shoot someone, take the shot. Take the shot! Take the shot! Nope, he didn't do it, he didn't fall for it. And he highlighted me anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I never took control. 47 seconds left, he offers, he highlight me. Probably because the AI, like, paused there for a long time. Before he took the drink. Yeah. Generally, once you're at a high level of play, you're not going to do it anymore. Like, you wouldn't do this in a tournament or something. 
but counter disrespected. There you go. Perfect. I shot him for the disrespect and he shot and he waited me out for the disrespect. How are people liking the game? Well, guys, how are you guys liking it? You are the crowds. <laughs> yep. Yep. There are tournaments for this. Yeah, they, they do regular tournaments for this. If you buy Spy Party and get into the forums and become active, well, you don't even have to be active, I guess. You just need to get Spy Party. They will regularly uh, do tournaments, and they're really cool. I've competed in a few and never won. I think I got third or fourth place in one, which was nice, but let's see. Please spare my wallet. Yeah. Yeah, Spy Party is awesome. If the concept appeals to you, then it it executes on it really well. Like, obviously, it's not a game for everyone, but if, if you're sitting there saying, I really like this concept, then you will really like Spy Party. It just does what it's supposed to do very well. Banana bread. I've also interviewed um, Chris Hecker, who's the developer on this, like, years ago, years and years ago. Uh, he also worked on Spore. He did, the, he did all the character or the, the creature creation stuff on Spore i.e. the best part of Spore. Um, oh. Ready? <laughs> All right, let's see. No double agent, no inspect. So I could look for swaps. I could look for fingerprint, look for bugs. So there's something with the ambassador going on. Um, look at the guest list and look at micro elements back in. So I got to watch for that too. Watch for people who pick up books and do a crazy arm motion or even just bring the book straight from one shelf to the other. That's also an option. The AI will never do that. If you ever catch anyone doing that, they're a fucking spy. And I have a feeling that's his rush of choice here. Choice here. Two, 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 three, one, one. He's going from one shelf. Is he going to the other shelf? Maybe, maybe not. She might have done it. Did he just put his thing away on that shelf? He had to have. Yep, it's him. He put the book away at the at the wrong shelf. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no. Oh, oops. I, I totally misread that. It looked like he had put it away. And then I thought he was like picking a briefcase or something at the end. Yeah, I thought he had put it away. Because he, he, what happened here? He was doing something. <laughs> I should have seen it plain as day. And then he, <laughs> he spun after I shot him and the book was still there. I was like, fuck. <laughs> he has a twin. No one will know. Yeah, exactly. Oops, that sucked. Oh, I see a spider on the wall. Hey there, spider bro. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? You gonna come watch me play some video games? You gonna, you gonna do it? I did play new art ballroom earlier. It's pretty cool. It's finally, it's great to see that map finally make it into new art because that was the very first spy party map. Was actually really weird. He said something was weird. See, he was doing um. He picked up the briefcase. That's what's that's what confused me. 
which he could have just been doing to, you know, get a fingerprint too, so it really did make him more suspicious. It was just really unfortunate for me. Yeah, Spider Bro, he just coming to watch me play some spy party. He's like, ah, oh, you doing some mind games, man? You doing those fucking mind games? Putting the book away as he. Yeah. I couldn't decide on <laughs> the smiley I wanted there. New map. New map. Briefcase is weirdly hidden by the glass. <laughs> we'll do a new map. The spider is sniper, much better. Mm, yeah, I was actually I tried to organize a vine a vine sauce spy party tournament a while back. And there wasn't enough interest, unfortunately. And we needed to get to at least eight players, and I had, like, six. So I was like, eh, never mind. But that was a long time ago. The number next to my name, uh, it is spy wins and sniper wins. So I have 512 spy wins, 634 sniper wins. Again, not even counting losses. Uh, he's got 1419 spy wins and 1801 sniper wins. You think there's enough interest now? Well, I don't know. Maybe the forums are kind of not dead, but... They had to start anew. There's only 300 registered members in the forums now. By the way, in case you didn't know, we have forums. Go to vinesauce.com and sign up for our forums because they just got overhauled. Yep. Yeah, classic balcony mode. So there is a map with the old art called Balcony that only had these three missions and that was it uh, because these two missions weren't added in yet and he's pretty much doing classic Balcony mode because this new map is based off of Balcony and he's only doing the Balcony missions so this is like classic spy party setup here so this is a much smaller map uh, it's kind of it feels like a death trap for the spy because this everything is very exposed there's very few people, only seven people in the party, so the spy can be seen really easily. However, uh, the missions are harder to catch, so it's kind of interesting. It's like an arcade mode, almost. Okay, no, definitely no one bugged the ambassador there. Checking watch on the right. No time ad. No bug on her part, she... Hmm. I don't think he would have done that. It plus is a really solid 180 turn. Still no time add. She had a tough time recovering out of that, which... Oh. Anyone talking? He's talking. Oh, jeez, I don't know though. Could have been him. Pressure. Laser burn. She's moving around a lot too. talking. Now she's standing still. Standing strangely still. Here comes a bug if she's going to do it. I don't think the spies completed the mission at this point. Mm. 
No, I don't think he's done it. I'm gonna just gonna wait it. Uh, it was it was her in the front? Oh no, it was him in the front. Someone in the front. Yeah, because when I saw those two next to each other, I just realized that if he completed his mission in the last second, it couldn't have been her because she wasn't really doing anything. She was just my only suspect, so I shot. But um, these two being in the front, if he completed his mission at the last second, I thought it was probably a seduce. One of these two is seducing the other. And sure enough, that's what happened at the last second. Now, what was the other mission he did? Target seduce? He did the target seduce. Oh, that's right, he banana breaded. Forgot. Wodar is not a dev, he's just a very good player. And a vine saucer. And the end of red. Um, there's no penalty to guessing at the last second, unless you're wrong. Like, if there's a few seconds left and you shoot, then you're wrong, then you're just dead. Then, or, you lost. But if there's overtime, then the spies essentially already won. They're just waiting for the countdown timer to end, because it went past the zero on the on the mission timer up here. At that point, since the spies already won, it's best for the sniper just to shoot whoever their top suspect is immediately, because if overtime runs out, then the spy wins. It, it's hard to explain, but... Okay. Let's be one of the twins this time. Yeah, Wodar also helped me defuse a bomb while I was doing keep talking the other day. Alright, well, we can get a seduce if he decides to stop in conversation. He did, but it's on the opposite side, which I don't like. But, I mean, it couldn't hurt to do. Actually, since they will flirt, good, got green, which is pretty much what I need when they're opposite me like that. We'll wait for him to enter the conversation, and then we'll signal the double agent. And Actually, we'll just do it now, because the time felt right. Oh, I was at the end of my talking cycle, which probably isn't good. Didn't see it. Yeah, <laughs> he saw it. His laser was right on me. I didn't even think it was. Wow, the highlight. And the end of red. I technically got a green BB, but I stupidly did it after a seduce, so it looked white anyway. <laughs> so if you get a green on the banana, banana bread, bread, you don't talk. So I got a green, but it was after I was talking anyway, so it just, there was no point. And then I stupidly tried to bug. <laughs> <laughs> you see it? You see it right here? Watch this. Doop. Bug known to man. Yeah, he even said it looked white. <laughs> it totally looks white too. If you watch this, it, it looks like I'm just off the tail end of my talking, so... And the end of red. <laughs> I couldn't have framed myself any better than I possibly did during that match. It's pretty good. Wheel of Mirror. When's the next Keep Talking stream? I don't know. I don't know. Probably Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know why Tuesday, but that's just my guess. No bug. I watch for rush bugs. Oh, here comes banana bread. Rush banana bread. Banana bread. Right there. <laughs> ha! That was perfect. <laughs> I was like, what would Wodar do in this situation? 
Wait test. Apparently he also did a stutter step, but I did not see it. Basically, I saw everyone converge on the conversation, so I figured in Wodar's mind this is a perfect opportunity to rush banana bread since everyone's in the conversation. It wouldn't give any information away. And I figured since he'd be rushed to do it, he's more likely to fail the green test and to actually be talking. Um, the only other person talking was the ambassador, so that left her. That was my logic, and it worked, but definitely risky because there are there are. <laughs> it's so funny. There are pros who are so good at this that they will get green on every test to the point that it hinders them. Like there was a there was a tournament I think a summer or two back, where, um, where one of the one of the sniper realized that the spy was getting green on every single test. So when it came time to a banana bread and it was between two suspects, he shot the one that wasn't talking because he banked on him getting green. Even though it's technically less likely or it's harder to do, in this case it was more likely since the guy was so good at the game. So once you get to a certain level of being good at spy party, you actually need to intentionally do white tests instead of green every once in a while or else you become more predictable. Let's see what that looked like from his point of view. Wait, no, I was the sniper. Yeah, just watch the way everyone converged on the conversation circle. <laughs> there is no better time to rush the banana bread. Banana bread. I was like, I'm going to do it. All the dank memes for that shot. Yeah. Let's see, so uh, for, out of the 17 games, I won 7 of them. Not bad. I was expecting to do a lot worse. And the end of red. I'll, I'll be proud of this one forever. Yep. I'll do and some more spy red. party, probably tomorrow or so. That's all it took. And look at fucking Damon <laughs> looking so doofy. All right, that was a lot of fun. Let's see, is my replay there? Oh, I didn't save the replay. Can I? I'm not sure how to save replay. Um, eh, oh, whatever. I don't need that replay. But, away message. This is what the, a typical lobby looks like. There might be more people than usual tonight just because um, cause of the update. You can see there's a fair amount of people. But even if you don't find a game, uh, you can still spectate other games, which is kind of cool. Like, let's see. There's actually some newer players. There's Drake here. There's Kyle McParland here. Only one spy win, zero sniper wins. These guys are new. There's actually a fair number of new people tonight. So if you're going to get in a spy party, now would be a good time, I think. You could even uh, pair up together. Have multiple vine saucers that are newbies learning spy party. I just love this game. I can't wait for it to hit Steam. I can't wait for, uh, I don't know. I can't wait for everything. It, it's been such a long development cycle. It's been in the making for like a decade or something now. Something stupid amount of time, but it's only made by one guy, so I'm not surprised for a game this sophisticated. But apparently, it's going to hit Steam early access. Hopefully by the end of the year. But you can get it now if you go to spyparty.com. It's just not on Steam yet. And I'll be glad to teach you too, 
if you're um, if you ever need someone to play with, feel free to just add me on Steam and say, hey KY, teach me the spread parties. Uh, in your replays, go to your matches and then today's date for your replays. Oh, they are in there automatically. Okay. And you can see how often I play, which is not much at all. But now that there's this new update with... Now that you can actually have competitively viable games with the new characters. Because before, the thing is, they've been adding these new characters in five at a time. So the very first batch of them, there were only five of them. And of course, five of them isn't enough for a good competitive match. Like, you can't do much with it. It was there more as a tech demo, but competitively it was broken. So early on with the new art, I didn't play a whole lot more. Uh, then they added more, uh, five more, and there was ten people, and it was like, that's a little bit better. But still not quite there. But now that there are 16 new art characters, you can do full-blown matches with the new art. So I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot more now. Oh yeah, the main developer and the artist, yeah. Exactly. Oh, and the community manager, that's right. <laughs> Three guys. Uh, I think the community manager is Zero, Zero TK, TKA, who is just a spy party player for a long time, if I'm not mistaken. And he'll do updates on the game and the blog and stuff, and it's pretty cool. All right, let's check the art. Checking the art. Yeah, need two on the vine coming up soon. Uh, finish Mushroom 11 probably tomorrow or so. We got a few new pieces of art for you. We got this. It's a foot! I actually said that too during the stream. I remember saying it. Let's see, I wonder if I can. Eh, it's a little bit better. It's a foot! Oh, who did that? I want to see who did that. That was Strudelu. Thank you so much, Strudelu. I remember saying that. I remember that exact moment. It flew through the air like a boot, and I was like, it's a foot! <laughs> Just like that. KY Blaster, also from Strudelu. <laughs> Pretty good. And then Spider Bro hanging out on the wall. This is from Dong Beam. Thank you for the art, Dong Beam. Very appreciated. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been fun. Uh, more Spy Party soon, more Mushroom 11, going to finish it up. Um, maybe a spoopy game, probably at The Last of Us. Uh, what else was I doing? I got to get back to Space Control 2. Yeah. And Tower Climb, of course. So many games I can play. So many to choose from. All right. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for the games, Wodar. And, um, yeah, see you guys later.